Hot pop. On Shock Radio. Hello and welcome to Hot Pot Live from Media City UK with Adam Townsend and Angela Thursby. Coming up in today's menu, we've got a rundown on the best ways for students to shop and keep healthy. We've also got Reese Williams, a student at Salford University, who's joining us today on the show. We'll be talking to him about his healthy eating regime. You can expect Hot Pot's usual classics, blender facts, food myths, and get the lowdown on the best ways to track your calories with our special calorie game. Listen online, on campus, and on the go. This is Shock Radio. Also, if you want to join us with our debates, then you can use our Twitter handle at HotPotOfficial or hashtag ShockHP. Now on Hot Pot, we have food myths. The myth that smoking suppresses appetite. People still think this today, but the myth submerged from a Lucky Strike campaign in 1925. Reach for a Lucky instead of a Sweetie. Eating cheese before bedtime gives you nightmares. In fact, it actually has the opposite effect. According to QILs, certain cheeses make you dream about different things. For example, cheddar makes you dream about celebrities, Red Leicester makes you remember the school days, and Chester... Oh, and Cheshire cheese, sorry, has no effect at all, meaning that you don't sleep or dream. You don't fact, sleep? Oh, my goodness. In God, fact, you don't dream. Strong cheese. <laughs> Very sad, right? Carbohydrates make you fat. In fact, carbohydrates are important for a balanced diet. It's just the foods that are associated with carbohydrates are known as fatty foods. Dried, frozen or tinned fruit is not as healthy as fresh fruit. Actually, fruit which is frozen straight after harvest is healthier as it locks, locks in nutritions of the fruit. Yeah, so it is healthy or just as healthy. So, Reese, have you heard of any of those? Well, the myths? Um, ah, yeah, plenty. Well, carbohydrates especially, because, you know, you, you, you've got to be careful what you eat, you know. Yeah. I mean, yeah, playing, you know, rugby and all that, you've got to have such a balanced diet. It's horrible, actually, because... Um, you know, for, it's just a lot of stews and stuff like that back in Wales, and a lot of lamb. <laughs> um, no, um, and then when you sort of enter a sort of a strict regimented diet, sort of like a rugby yeah. sort of trained, diet, you know what I mean. But it's it's sort of like you you wake up at the start of the week and you'd be like muesli straight forward until like game day, mm. and then you'd be smashing carbohydrates all day, pasta, 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 rice, and it would be fantastic. But you just feel horrible for most of the week. Like, oh yeah, I can you'd be you'd be. It's not that. It's not a matter of, um, it's just everything in moderation. I don't think, you know, yeah, there, there should definitely. be like a certain amount of food that you can or can't eat. It's just, um, I mean, at, at uni especially, I mean, there's a lot of temptations to like get takeaway every night. And that's all right. It's just because I think a lot of people think that you can just diet it away, mm. but you've got to do that exercise. Yeah, definitely. Because if you don't have that, then you it's just kind of your body stagnates a little bit, and it kind of gets into a very similar routine. Did you did you um, do you have any myths that you know already that you think myths. are out there, there? Myths that I knew already. Um, well, I know a couple about meat, but I think that was sort of all to do with. Um, I think I, I think I knew one that sort of led to. Um, and, and, well, no, that's very true. Actually, too much red meat in your diet is, is quite bad for you. I don't know many myths per se, but I know I know a lot of like facts about red meat and stuff like that. Yeah. If you have too much of that in your diet, it's quite it can get quite unhealthy for you. But too much of anything is is bad. You just got to eat everything in the yeah. right moderation. All the moderation, definitely. Exactly. I mean, with that cheese one that we were saying before, actually, I didn't believe that, but that was only because of my personal experience. Like, I would eat cheese just as like a, a thing before I go to bed, just because I like cheese. But it never <laughs> used to work. Aye. But then I thought that was just me. Uh, but anyway, now we've got the news with Jack and Heather with the weather. Shock, radio news. With the election finally over and the Conservatives winning a majority, David Cameron is Prime Minister again for the next five years. Reporter Millie Smith spoke to students from Salford University to find out their views on the recent elections. So what's your opinion from the outcome of the general election? Um, I feel... I feel sad, annoyed, angry um, that we've got five more years of this Tory regime, five more years of cuts and austerity 
um, and the most vulnerable society being hit the hardest while the rich get richer and the poor get poorer. How are you feeling about having a Tory-led government for another five years? Um, at the moment, I don't really feel like it's affected me so far, but um, it really could do in the future. And I do feel bad for the people it is affecting right now. Um, he got voted, though, at the end of the day, so that's just how it works. Thousands are protesting on the streets of London due to the outcome of the elections. Even though the majority of protests were peaceful, it took a turn for the worst on Saturday the 9th when the police began to clash with protesters. And it's currently been announced that David Cameron is considering a reshuffle within the Cabinet Office. Boris Johnson will not be instated as Minister, but he will serve his final year as the Mayor of London. He's been demoted, but will attend separate political Cabinet meetings. And in other news, singer Rihanna is trending from her appearance on the red carpet at the Chinese-themed Met Gala. Her elaborate yellow dress caught the eye of the internet and became an internet sensation when as many have photoshopped foods such as pizza and omelette on the trail of her cape. Heather with the weather. Today in Salford there are some spells of sunshine. It will be a fairly dry day with temperatures peaking at 18 degrees Celsius. Showery rain will develop late in the night. Now, talking about elections, in the 1892 general election, a political activist, William Gladstone, was hit in the eye with a biscuit that was thrown by what he described in his diary as a middle-aged bony woman with great force and skill. After the incident, he experienced problems for months after, and it marked the end of his ability to rely on his sight. How mean is that? Oh, that sounds a bit brutal, actually. Uh, we're now joined with Rhys, who is a fellow student here at Salford. So, Rhys, do you consider yourself as a healthy person? Hel- healthy is a, you know, it's a big, big, big word, that. <laughs> big word, especially for a student. I mean, as I said, 